How's it going everybody? It's Mystical here from Armory Digital Racing Designs and I'm happy today to present to you the ICR mod, also known as the International Competitive Racing Mod. Uh, if you've been uh, following along for the past half year, this is the first mod that I've ever created and I wanted to do a quick overview video, uh, mostly for the features that has been included in it because there's quite a few folder options so I figured It'd be much easier to do a uh, video form instead of trying to explain how to copy or move or whatever these type of settings look like. So we'll just jump right in. So basically after you download the mod, uh, you'll put it into your series folder just like any other mod. I've only just included it in here just so it's easy to tell. And when it's unzipped, it should just look like this. There's also the readme and credits, so if you want extra information, and some of that I will be actually just going over in this video. But that is basically the gist there. And then you'll just launch the game. And once we're in, basically you'll see something like this. Uh, your UI is not going to look exactly the same like this. If you guys have known, I've made the UI e, uh, e, uh, interface uh, mod a long time ago. And I've been playing around stuff, so certain things. But that's irrelevant. Anyways... Uh, you'll see the main back here. It'll probably be full screen if you're using the default, or if you are using uh, my uh, UI mod for larger stuff, I have a setting for that, which we'll go over to the larger one. But anyways, you'll make sure down here in the series that you have the, the mod selected, basically, and that's that. Then you go to player info. I call it driver info, but... Um, and then you'll be greeted by the mod here, basically, with the whole car set. I'm not really going to go over... All the cars or anything but basically uh, same thing as always i made a custom uh, manufacturer um, selection here too of all the templates that are available and which ones they go on basically and also you'll see the driver display interface also included by default when you download and install the mod it's included and this car set has it working where there's a car number name and sponsor and stuff uh, basically, so that's that. Um, and if we go to opponent manager, you'll see the same thing here. The driver uh, interface, basically, by default is on. And so that's basically the rundown. You know, same thing, manufacturer options. Um, chances are I will include an optional download on the website if people want to add or remove because you may not use some of these manufacturers for your own personal car set. But um, that's basically the rundown there. And uh, as far as the this car set, they are compressed to 2048 by 1024 for the car. And then the crews are 512 by 512, which I highly recommend. You can do the much larger resolution that the templates offer. But uh, and just in terms of memory, it's I recommend because it looks good enough in my opinion for that. Um, basically, we'll go to a race here. So there's the car basically, and it's stock painted and all that. And by default, you'll see the mod or the wind, the mirror is at the top, and the gauges have been uh, teal colored. And then you have inside the cockpit, you have the the mirror placement. There's no side mirror, which I'll show you how to add those options. And then you'll see the uh, digital uh, RPM basically inside, and the little uh, nameplate on the right gauges placed there in the little steering wheel indicator uh, that I put on which that moves basically dependent on the AI. I try to make it where when you turn the steering wheel it would actually do that but unfortunately it's not uh, coded that way NASCAR 2003. I couldn't uh, duplicate the wheel. So basically I took the exterior driver animation and put it basically on the inside as a steering wheel essentially but that's basically all that is. Um, but, I mean, there really isn't much else to say about the mod in terms of, you know, it's it's a mod. It runs on the cup physics, and uh, it acts like any other mod in terms of damage and racing and stuff like that, but it's all visual uh, in terms of all that stuff, so uh, basically there's all of that covered. And then we'll go into all the options now that you can do to change features on the mod, which is what makes it special. Okay, and back on folder options, you go into here, you'll see a mod options folder. And this is where you can 
copy and paste certain features into the main directory that will adjust certain things that you may like better or want to go back on. So uh, the first one is the menu. Uh, if you noticed on uh, when I showed it, it was small. So we're going to use the large one. This is the UIE compatible version. You just copy the main back in there and then you'll get the much larger screen size version. And if you don't want it, or you decide to remove the UIE mod and then you want to go back to smaller menu, you can just delete it because it's uh, um, packaged in the DAT file with all the default settings, so deleting it won't have an effect if uh, the file was uh, there in the first place. Um, and the next one is the driver uh, display interface for the menus, which you have a menu driver display interface, and by default it's on. And this one says no driver display interface, so if you were to copy this to the main directory here, that will actually disable it the next time. And then it'll just like it look like any other mod where it's just the car spinning around and you know some mods have like the driver or a wheel or something or the window net down, but all this does is just remove that interface thing. So just remove that there because I actually like having it. Um, and then the next one is the Let's see what should we go over next um, uh, the other option is the um, gauge colors you can actually change these so by default there's the teal so you don't even need to really include it but it's just here in case somehow you unpack the data and you delete it and you don't want to re-download the mod or something but um, basically let's change it to uh, well, let's let's go with yellow so you, all you have to do is copy the two files within here and just put them into your directory like that so there's the interior and the exterior, so it'll change the colors. Um, and the exterior is actually only the changing the, the big RPM circle because uh, the interior gauges are the same as the exterior except for the RPM. So if you don't copy this, you'll get different colored colors for the uh, small circles, but the RPM will still be teal, so that's why you want to have both copied. And the next option... Um, is the exterior graphics display. This is the quads feature. If you read the uh, um, uh, release page, uh, I showed screenshots what it looked like. I put a car number and a, uh, like a, a Fox or NBC, you know, thing in the corner. Um, but what's included in the mod, by default, it's disabled. So it's just here. You don't even need to really use this MIP unless you unpack the data again. But here you can enable it. Uh, what's included is just a a default placeholder thing so I'm gonna copy it in here this automatically will then enable it but when we go in game you'll see that it's uh, not actually a, a real uh, uh, painted on template that's something you'll have to do but um, the templates are included uh, affinity photo Photoshop and paint shop pro depending on what you use I have a template overview video which you can view that, and that covers actually the template here for this as well. So if you want to know how to paint on this to put it in the game, that will show you what it looks like and stuff. But anyways, we'll just say you paint it on it. What you do then is you copy it right into here, and it's just called quad. So, And then last but not least, the best part of the mod is the display driver interface for uh, racing and replay mode. Uh, the one main important thing to remember is if you're if you don't do any like uh, replay only mode, you really don't have to worry about this. I'll go over this last, but the main one is here, and there's four different options. Um, by default, uh, the first one is uh, that's included in the mod package in it is the no driver display and no side mirror. If you notice in the cockpit, there's no side mirror, so this is the default uh, option. So if you ever want to go back, you can actually just, again, delete whatever you had copied. But if you want the original, it's in here too. Uh, so then the first option is the driver display. So it's the UI above the car and then no side mirror. Um, and then say you want the driver display and the side mirror, then you'll use this version. And then say you want the side mirror, but you don't want the driver display interface, then you'll copy this one. So that's basically all they are doing. I'm going to do driver and uh, display interface and no side mirror. Uh, and one thing I want to go over is you'll notice in 
the options for the uh, driver display that are um, enabled. There's a low resolution one. This is for people who have a screen resolution lower than 1920 by 1080 because on lower resolutions, the lower LOD of the car is used. So the driver inter uh, display interface will show up on the top of your car, which you don't want that unless for some weird reason you do, but it kind of covers up your racing view. So uh, you'll want to use this version of it, which it's also low res resolution here, which there isn't one in here, obviously, because there's no driver display included. So now we'll go back into the game and see what the mod looks like uh, quickly. What we did is we added a different color gauges. We made the menu uh, main back large. We added the driver display interface with no side mirror, and I enabled the quads UI effect, so it, it adds uh, graphics to the corners, or you know, hypothetically, we painted something there, but this is just a placeholder, and you'll see what I mean. So we'll head back into the game now and see what it looks like. Okay, and we're back, and now you can see the menu is much larger in the resolution, so that's what we wanted. So now we're just going to go, actually, I'm going to do a race because it can actually see the full effect of stuff. Okay, and now you can see the gauges are yellow, both on the interior and the exterior. And then we enabled the quads, so you can see top left, top right, bottom right. It won't, this is just a placeholder. But for you, you will basically paint whatever you want in those corners with the template. And then you can have uh, whatever detail you want. You can put your car number, you can put... Uh, your sponsor, um, all that type of stuff, um, whatever you want, it's just extra flair, and you were never able to paint, you know, I've got a car behind me, let this guy go, you've never been able to paint uh, in those sections in the UI before, so now you can't, and there's the driver display interface, you'll see it popping up now that I've enabled it, by default, like I said, it is disabled, so you will need to uh, enable that so you can use it if you like it. And if you don't and you hate it, you think it's stupid, it's not on by default, so you don't need to worry about it. And again, it's interactive in terms of reactive, I should say. It only appears on cars that you're coming up to or they're driving away from you. So cars in the distance won't see it and all that. And I've uh, uh, purposely designed it so it, it does not uh, occlude your racing view much or at all, depending on what racing view. Uh, I tested all sorts of sizes and shapes in terms of heights, how high it was above the car, uh, how large it would appear, and I found this to be the less, least intrusive and it was still readable at certain distances, you know, of where it appears. Um, and then I made it so it, you know, it would disappear as the car gets far away so it, it doesn't block views in terms of that. So it's just a, a cool little feature that I really wanted. Kind of goes back to the NASCAR Thunder, NASCAR Heat type arcade game where a UI indicator shows up and uh, I have a template uh, overview that goes over what, how you can paint on it but as you can see it rotates uh, with uh, uh, doesn't rotate with the car it actually stays with the camera because the, the car is tilted right now with the camera straight but you'll see here uh, the, the far far chase view the camera actually turns with the car so the UI is actually going to uh, rotate with it too but uh, and don't, don't mind the UI, I have it uh, turned off halfway, so it's kind of broke looking. Uh, so you can see here in replay mode, the UI uh, DDI, you know, driver display interface, I call it, it's rotating, or not rotating with the car. And if we go to this view, it's not, and then bar chase, oh yeah, I'm actually too close to the car. Here. Actually, it's closer to it or farther away from it because it's a different distance from the uh, close chase, so it pops up and then it disappears depending on your view. So like here you're too close to it, here you're at the perfect distance. And you can see it can kind of cover up the cars in front, so it's really dependent if you really care about that stuff or not. Personally, it doesn't really bother me too much because you're, you're either ra I usually race in like a, a bumper cam mode or something, like this or something or the uh, roof cam, but um, it's just an extra option I really thought was cool to add to the uh, the mod, and I think a lot of people enjoy it, but uh, yeah, regardless of the, the, the angle the car is, how it flips, the, the UI will always appear upwards unless, you know, you 
you're using like far chase view and you start flipping but um that's basically the driver display interface and how it works so now i'm going to go over just a couple more uh, things to keep note when you're using the driver display interface and then i have one more option uh i want to mention the mirror forgot to actually go over that so i'll do that right now okay and back into the folder directions directory uh, I forgot the um, exterior mirror, mirror position. So by default, you'll notice the mirrors at the top. But if you use my UIE mod, I have a UI compatible position. So you no longer have to use cam hack or cam hack or some other thing. If you like using the tickers, literally copy this, put it in the directory, and it'll move the mirror down. I specifically made it so it works exactly with my tickers in terms of spacing. So it'll work great, and uh, you'll see in game how it works. Uh, and then before we go in, this is for the replay guys. If if you like to watch races and replay, or maybe you do the race in with the DDI, but then you want to watch the replay later and record it, and you want uh, bigger stuff, then this is an option. I don't recommend racing with it. It's only good for uh, watching replays in really. And and as you notice, this view still shows in replays, which is perfect. But if you want something a bit more visible and prominent. And these options will give it to you. This one is the normal one, just like you've seen, except I've enlarged everything and made it taller on the car, so it's much easier to see at farther distances. And then this one, regardless of the distance of the car, it will always appear. And I'll show at the end what they look like, but uh, that's basically what those options are. Now, there's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, if you notice when you're racing and the DDI is not following the camera, then that means there's a, a setting in your player any, so you need to go into the player any for your current player. Go into graphic options, and you want to look for the, it's here somewhere. Oh yeah, car mega shader. You want to make sure this is set to zero. We set it to one, and we go back into the game. So if we're back in the game, uh, you'll see the uh, UI now, because I turned it off, but um, you'll see now the mirror is correct. So that's what that, that thing does. And then if you see the car mega shader enabled, see how it broke? It makes the, the DDI look. Not only is it dark, but also is uh, the uh, position of it is all broke. And that's because of the car mega shader. I don't know why, but through testing we found the car mega shader option breaks it. So hopefully that's not a setting you're dying to need. It's unfortunately a side effect sometimes, but if you if you do if you have it on, then the DDI is not going to work, and it's going to look terrible. It's going to be dark like the cars because I've made it designed it so it doesn't uh, show it doesn't affect get affected by lightness, and you can see it's not facing the car or the camera anymore it's actually facing the opposite direction so it completely breaks it see how it's see how this car on the right it's not only dark but it's also scooted off the side there so you have to have the car mega shader option uh, set to zero if you don't then it won't look right so if you go into player so if you see that issue just remember graphics options car mega shader set to zero and everything will be okay. I don't know exactly what the shader is doing or changing, why it makes the DDI. Uh, it's in the code, it's uh, the driver display interface I made is using a, a code line uh, called billboard, which is kind of what old, older mods use for the uh, backfire effect with the fire coming out. And that's what I, how I designed this thing, but I don't know why it messes up the, the lighting and the position of the uh, the billboard somehow it disables that billboard effect so you have to have that set to zero but that's basically that um and so last but not least i will show you guys what the, the replay mode looks like um i'm just going to keep use the always on but they're basically the same thing except this one will only show up sometimes this will just be on the, all the cars all the time regardless of the distance and i'll also show you why it's probably not a good idea to race with this but if you want to, nobody's stopping you, but I highly recommend not. It's mainly made for those people that just want to see the race and replay or record, uh, you know, extra stuff. So you can see it's huge, and it's a part appearing on your car all the time.
So it is higher off the uh, off the car. So yeah, sure you can see farther down the racing line, I suppose. But um, it, it just it'll always be on, and it makes a lot of these uh, views that are uh, far chase almost impossible to see because it's so huge. So that's why I don't recommend racing on this because it's been it, it enables it. So it's it's even going to show up on your car. It's, it's made for people who watch races and replays, so, um, like I said, if you want to race like this, uh, go for it. I don't recommend it. Uh, but here you can see, because it's so large, you can see how it follows your camera. So I guess it's a good way to demonstrate how, this, how cool this thing is, but uh, if we go into replay mode now. So there you go. Any, any camera view, I can actually get to one that's not... Pit roads, see any camera view and distance, it'll show up. Obviously, the farther away. I wish I could make it scale, but unfortunately, I can't do that. But you can see here, it'll always show up. And whether you want to use this or not, that's up to you as well. Uh, it may, uh, again, farther away or closer up of uh, views cover up too much of the cars, but I have, like I said, I have another version, so it'll only appear on the cars that are closest to the camera at certain times. But uh, that's what the replay version basically looks like. So this has been an overview of the ICR mod. I hope it made sense and was concise enough. I try to compress and cut out a bunch of the random crap just to get to the points and everything. But uh, basically, say you do, the last thing I want to say is, is, say you do a bunch of changes, all you have to do is go in here and delete it all. And then you're back to default state, basically. Or you can just, you know, keep the options or switch out and copy over whatever you want but that's basically how these folder options you can put into the main directory and you can customize the mod even more what you like and that kind of covers it for the icr mod overview um i highly recommend reading the readme and credits and also um looking at the main page for the uh the release of the mod on the armory digital racing design site because it also gives an overview of what all these things look like as well. Um, it was a lot of fun making the mod, and for those watching the dev posts who follow the lawn, you saw its progress, and I hope you everyone enjoys it. Um, if you want some further information on the templates, I have a video on that too, and I also have a special video on the Marmoset toolbag renderer because that's a new render program most people don't have, so I wanted to make a video on it. So thank you so much everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoy the mod, and there will most likely be some post-launch content too, some bases and template add-ons, uh, more templates. Uh, I believe the Mazda will be the first official manufacturer template that will be added on. I'm sure uh, tons of other people, I'm excited to see what they do as well uh, with uh, their own templates and manufacturers and painting on the digital display interface and quads and all that to really make the mod look unique. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.